Hello and welcome to my channel. We have another winter landscape here and again it's a relatively simple scene with a nice uh, mountain in the background and some uh, snow-covered trees in the foreground. I used a very limited number of tools. I only used a piece of vine charcoal for drawing. No charcoal pencils this time mostly just vine charcoal and for erasing I used a kneaded eraser so you can get away with using just these two things to draw a nice landscape like this so let's have a look at the drawing process I'm also going to be using this piece of glassine paper to put under my hand to prevent smudging because vine charcoal is easily moved. It's a smaller piece of paper that I'm working on this time and it's secured with two pieces of tape. And I'm just going to do a little bit of sketching to give myself some idea about the terrain and where I'm going to place everything. At this point all I knew was that I wanted a mountain in the background and at least one larger tree in the foreground to the right. Uh, the rest of it I wasn't really sure about but as you can see or as you will see I kind of figured it out as I went along. So once I did a little bit of sketching, I decided to use my vine charcoal to sketch the outline of the mountain. And then I decided to cover the sky with vine charcoal. So I'm just going to cover everything with vine charcoal and try to make it as even as possible. And for blending, this time I used a Q-tip. I wanted a little more control <coughs> over the edges, the edges of the mountain, because I don't want to make the edges too blurry. <clears throat> so I want the lighter si sides or the lighter slopes of the mountain to stand out against the background. I want a cleaner edge there. Of course at this point it's a little bit blurry but I will clean it up with an eraser a little bit later. So what I'm doing now is I'm starting to work on the shadow sides of those mountain peaks. And because they're covered with snow, there's going to be a lot of contrast. So the light side is going to be almost completely white. And the shadow side is going to be quite a bit darker and in the shadow side of those mountain sides or mountain slopes I will also try to create some texture and variation so that it really looks like rocks or mountains <coughs> So I'm trying to create some rough edges and rough terrain. And already you can see how I'm achieving nice contrast between the light side and the shadow side and the background, which I shaded previously. But now I'm softening everything a little bit with a soft synthetic brush. 
and maybe adding a few details here and there with a tutillion. As I mentioned many times before in my videos, you can use a tutillion for drawing instead of a pencil. Uh, all you need to make sure is that it has a little bit of charcoal on it and then you can create it you can use it to create some softer lines and softer textures and things like that so I'm also trying to clean up the edges of these mountains a little bit uh, like I said it's it's important to have a cleaner edge there because a clean edge separates two Two, two objects, two different objects, two separate, separate objects while you'll find softer transitions within the same object so you can see how I uh, added a little bit of highlights even in the shadow side maybe like some of the rocks or mountain peaks are maybe jutting out or sticking out so now at this point I'm mostly done with the mountain and I kind of made the sides or the bottom of it a little bit blurry like it's fading into the mist uh, kind of like what Bob Ross used to do but of course with his technique that was usually done a little bit faster even though this also doesn't require too much time I did this mountain in about I don't know 10 minutes or so maybe but this is a smaller size paper so there's that so you can see that I uh, <clears throat> made some indications of slopes uh, at the bottom part of my paper and added some trees or treetops and now here in the foreground on the right I'm starting to draw one of the trees and if you watched my tutorial on how to draw snow covered trees you, you'll you see that I always use a vine charcoal to draw the, the tree first and I try to make it uh, shape and structure as realistic as possible and then I just go back in with a kneaded eraser and remove some of the charcoal to create highlights and to make it look like the branches are covered with snow So there are some portions of my drawings that I can kind of explain to you and there are others which require simply a little bit of experience and a little bit of exercise. So getting the shape of the tree or a coniferous tree right it takes a little bit of practice. It doesn't have to be too detailed just as long as you try to imitate the basic, the basic structure and the basic shape of the tree. So now, as you can see, I'm using a kneaded eraser to lift up as much of that vine charcoal as possible. And I picked vine charcoal to do this because with compressed charcoal, which you can find in charcoal pencils, among other things, this would be a lot more difficult, I think. It would be a lot more difficult to remove that charcoal. With vine charcoal you can still have some of these darker areas and when you lift up to create highlights you get very very light areas of 
lighter value which almost looks like snow on a tree but the thing is uh, and you you can see that I keep uh, moving the needed eraser out of out of your view that's because I keep needing it I keep uh, reshaping it I have to keep doing that in order to clean it and to make it erase better so constant reshaping is needed when you're working with a needed eraser so now I'm pretty happy with the way this tree looks in the foreground and maybe I'm just gonna add a few of these but this one is going to be the largest but here I'm also adding some more of those trees in the background which are also in the mist you can just see some of their tops and maybe they're a little bit less defined and now in the midground I'm starting to add some some more trees to give a little more depth to my scene and to make my composition a little more interesting I'm going to be adding one more tree on the left as well <coughs> So what I need to do now is make the, the canopies a little bit more dense, a little bit thicker. And here and there you'll, find, you'll see that I occasionally unintentionally lift up a little bit of that vine charcoal while working on another area and that happens. I just have to go back in and add a little more vine charcoal. Because like I said, vine charcoal is very easily uh, removed so I'm just gonna add a few more trees <coughs> before I before I start working on the highlights or rather the terrain and the snow because I need to add a little bit more variation to the snow as well because uh, I, do, I, I can't leave it just completely white but on those trees which are kind of in the foreground I created more contrast and more detail while those trees which are further in the back they are kind of blurry and there's less detail and less contrast on them I'm kind of hoping that uh, the large tree on the right and the mountain are the, the two things that will kind of capture the attention of the viewer immediately. That's why I uh, spent most of the time working on those. So now as you can see I'm trying to put in a little bit more detail into the into that snow terrain in the foreground. and erasing a little bit to recreate some lighter values here I decided to add a few clouds just to make the sky a little bit more interesting even though I can't, I don't want to make it too light I want to keep it a little bit darker so that the mountain stands out that's why I softened everything with a brush here the drawing is mostly finished and I'm gonna sign it here and here I zoomed in a little bit I hope you like this scene don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and check out my other landscape videos thanks for watching